Welcome to the unofficial world record um, top speed on a Super 73. <laughs> the top speed approach on the straightaway, flat ground, no going up, no going down. And uh, we think we can hit about 45, yeah, 45, uh, 45 miles an hour. What did we do to the bike? Originally, the bike comes with a 300 or 400 rock motor uh, in the rear. It's a rear hub motor. We took that out and we have now a mountain bike rear hub in the back and we missed, uh, missed the rear. You see also that we uh, swapped out the brakes. Uh, originally it comes with mechanical brakes and now we have hydraulic brakes. We put a new motor on it. Like I said, we swapped out the rear motor. We have now a mid-drive motor, a Luna Cyclone 3000 watt motor on it. And we run the motor with a 72 volt battery. The controller of the motor is hidden under the seat. It's like uh, all in here. Uh, originally it comes with a very short wiring harness. Um, we extended uh, the harness so that it looks a little bit more cleaner. And uh, like I said, all the cable and all the other stuff, the control is um, uh, hidden below the seat. We had a friend welding a few mounts that holds the battery in place. It's uh, very simple. We didn't want to go too fancy. We didn't want to go too. Uh, we didn't want to put too much more weight on the bike. Um, and then what else? I mean, you operate the bike uh, bike with a twist throttle. Uh, the throttle brakes. I already mentioned that. And we swapped the fork uh, from a. Uh, yeah, we swapped the fork to a fork that actually has a suspension. So yeah, this is uh, this is the build. Um, the controller does 40 amps now. The battery is 72 volt, uh, fully charged. It's about uh, 84 volts. So we actually will get close to 3,000 watt, and uh, yeah, hopefully hit the 45 miles an hour. The ratio for the gearing um, in the back, we are running a uh, 16 uh, teeth sprocket. Uh, we do have uh, a 14 uh, teeth sprocket that we might going to switch out if we think it, uh, uh, the ratio will be better to hit a little bit more top speed. Uh, but in the front, um, in the front, we do have a 40, 46 teeth sprocket. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how fast you can actually uh, go with the bike now. Uh, we just want to say this is dangerous what we're doing, so uh, don't do it at home. Uh, we wear full, or I wear full protection gear. Got my uh, Kevlar, my Kevlar pants, and my uh, my Kevlar uh, hoodie. And wearing a helmet, and I will put on some gloves as well, because kind of uh, I expect might to go down. And uh, it's we're going fast. It's not that we're going slow anymore. All right. That being said. <laughs> Uh, so we did the first test run or the first try actually and we went about 41 close to 42 miles an hour I think we we should change the sprocket I think uh, we can you know, go even faster with a smaller uh, sprocket on the rear So that's what we quickly do now changing that We hit mid 44 miles an hour, 45.1. I think we're running out of battery now. Uh, 
I doubt that we're going to hit 45 now. Get up, 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 get up,